Today I would like to present you a useful tool for making your stories called Windows Movie Maker. I have chosen this tool because if you go one by one you can produce a movie without any problems. Then in the middle section you have got your collection. It means uh, you will uh, upload or upload there your pictures, music or videos. Then uh, to the right uh, there is a little screen where you can preview what you've done. Underneath all these three parts there's a timeline part where you can drag uh, your pictures from the collection section or if you click this button uh, you will see a storyboard in which you can make most of uh, transitions, changes or animations. And now I can start working. Uh, uh, before opening a win Windows Movie Maker, I have uh, downloaded some pictures from the Flickr web page. And if you open number one uh, part in the movie task called Capture Video, you can see some options here. Uh, the first one is for the people who would like to uh, edit movies, as this is a movie editor, then you can import video or import pictures or import audio or music. What I am going to do now is to import pictures. And now we are going to import some pictures in the Windows Movie Maker. So we are going to choose this button, click on it and uh, we we'll can get some of the pictures we got saved. So I already chose these pictures. So I'm going to select them all like this and click import. So now all of the pictures are here as you can see. Now um, what I'm going to do next is drag the pictures one by one into the show time timeline boxes. Okay, so here's one. Here's the next one, and maybe this one. Now, I'm going to go to the Show Timeline option, click on it, and I'll get Show Storyboard. Now, my pictures are here, so uh, I'm going to click on one. As you can see, there's a little hand, and now you get an, a red arrow. So I'm just going to click and drag the arrow to the right. What we have just done is that we prolonged uh, the time of pictures being shown uh, in the film. And again, it's done by clicking on the picture. Once you see the red arrow, you can drag it to the right or to the left. Uh, you can, once we've got three pictures uh, here, we can preview the whole uh, video either here, clicking by play here, or clicking by play here. So I will play it here. And you can decide whether it's too long, so you can make it shorter or longer. Uh, by clicking this arrow, you will get into the full screen mode. But I'm not, not going to do that now. So, uh, In the same way, you can import into the collection panel uh, either videos or audios. I'm going to import an audio here. Uh, click on the button and uh, here I've got just a small selection of uh, ready-made uh, music. In the same way, you can import also audio or video. I am going to import audio. I've got it here in my file. You can find it in your collection here. In the same way we dragged uh, the pictures to the storyboard, we can drag music. It appears here in audio music section. To make it, uh, you can click on it and drag it up and down if you don't want to start uh, music right from this beginning, but I do. So let's go back and uh, if you get red arrow like this, you can make it shorter by dragging. Okay, so now I've tailored it to the length of my mini uh, video. And now it's time to edit our movie. So go to edit movie, the second option, click and 
choose the fourth option, make titles or credits. Click on it. Um, you've got several options here. It says, where do you want to add the title? So um, you can add the title at the beginning, before a selected clip or after the selected clip, and you can add credits at the end. So first of all, we're going to um, click at the title at the beginning, and we're going to type in the title, Olympic Games. And in the second box, we can type in 2008, or even better, uh, Beijing 2008. Scroll down. And once your movie is set, you should be careful about not making it too large by too many transitions or effects. And then you can finish the movie. The best option for this is by clicking finishing movie here open the this part you can you want to save it to your computer. Here you'll just choose the name of your file and keep it this way. And I want to I want to save it into uh, onto the desktop or you can browse for the right uh, file. Next, uh, you can choose the quality of the playback. If you are going to present it just at the school through your data projector, you can keep the best quality. But if not, you can uh, open more choices. Uh, and for example, it's nice to keep it for up to 6 megabytes. Let's go next. and. There, you have to wait for some time to have your movie saved. So it's nearly done. And now the movie, sa movie is saved. So click on finish. Wait for a while. And now we can look at our movie. Looks nice, doesn't it?